Come on, on guys, as you see, load shedding is a pandemic. You know, we are dealing with the pandemic of load shedding. So I'm sorry that the first initial lie that I started, it just completely cut off like breaking transmission. It's not my fault. It's load shedding. As I was saying, Sikhle CBC was trending yet again. Yay, guys. Sikhle CBC, I myself was trending yet again today. But I am thankful that finally the world knows that I was never an intruder. Like, finally. Because I just got so tired. Uguti. But anyways, that's not why I'm here. So, I trained today, and mostly it's women who are saying the most vile things, commenting the most vile things. Guys, let's hold Gwanele Foundation accountable, and Sikhe accountable as a GBVF organization. Why would Sikhe date a married man? Because in as much as she says she was subjected to emotional abuse, she did the same thing to the wife of the king. So she must be held accountable because Osike is a perpetrator. And I sit back and I say, hey, but home, guys, take time to educate yourself. Number one, royal houses in Africa, polygamy is the thing and it's allowed. Number two, the king does not only have one wife, or if he does have one legal wife, he's got many mistresses or different mistresses, if I may say, girlfriends. So it's completely different. I didn't just go into the royal house and gishelele mina, no. Mm -mm. Guys, whether you call CKCBC names, or slander me, or whatever you want to do, especially to women. The bottom line is... Sorry. The bottom line is... As you see, people are trying to call me. Whether you want to slander or say things about to see beast, the bottom line is... I didn't go out looking for Ubayete. One. Number two. <laughs> And when Obayete finally found or got me, Ushelile, Wabonindombi, Waitanda, Washel, and Gakoma. Is that my sin? What sin did I um oh sorry, I'm reading a comment here. Oh to polite God was People don't get bored. I say by anya nyisa through enough, please. Sorry, man. Get to me now. What sin did I commit? The fact that His Royal Highness, one of the most powerful men in the country, fished CKCBC out. I was invited, and in, instead, wangi shelanga koma. Is that my sin? I bo guys, really. I didn't go and break anyone's marriage. The guy is a king. Our late king was a polygamist. And it's not to say that I wanted to be in a the next wife or in a polygamous marriage. No, guys. I was enjoying um Jolo. You ever fair to how many women out there want a Jola with the most powerful man in the country? Huh? I was enjoying it. And it was nice. It was sweet. Now, another thing is, people think they know me better than me. Then other women were writing, or other women and men were writing, saying, Usikhe Sibisi has a problem because all the powerful men she comes across with, she then turns around and plays victim. Sikhe, you are not a victim. That is what people are saying. I bo guys. Maybe some of you need a, you have a problem of understanding. I've never played victim when it comes to Ubayede. Mm -mm. I'm not a victim. The only thing I've always been fighting for was for him to clear my name, to publicly state that I am not an intruder. 
even if it wasn't publicly by him, but a statement from the Royal House that said, Sitlebisi is not an intruder because I stayed in the Royal Palace in Ulundi. I worked remotely there, yes. My children were taken to the Royal Palace in Ulundi and stayed for a week there. So what type of intruder is this? So yes, I still maintain, I'm not a victim, but... I was subjected to the emotional abuse because you people were quick to share it and share it and share it and call me names, just like you're calling me names now, saying she's a bitch, she's a whore. Um, the, you know, all the names you can think of, you're calling me. Some of you have even shared the story and saying, let's discuss for 10 marks how CBC has a problem. How can she just meet powerful people and, and she plays victim? Guys, maybe you don't know how to read or understanding is a problem. My only issue here, and the reason why I said GBVF is real, is because how many women out there are going through the most and the very partners who they expect to stand up and speak for them are silent. And then their in-laws continue with a narrative that is not true. It happened to me where a narrative that was not true was being circulated about me, and I was told to keep quiet. And the reason why I was told to keep quiet is because that story broke, I think it was about two weeks before the coronation, and I had ministers, politicians, family, elders calling me, begging me to not say a thing because I wasn't supposed to ruin the coronation. I did keep quiet. I kept quiet. And I allowed you guys on social media to continue trolling me and trolling me and smearing me and smearing me and smearing me. Now, those who are saying Sikhle Sibisi always meets men of power and she plays victim. Mamelan, let me educate you. Kwanele Foundation was born because, or let me say Kwanele Mfundisi was born because yes, when I was 16, I was given to the church where I was victimized, abused holistically by the church under Philip Banda. And yes, I was subsequently human trafficked or taken to Nigeria where the same modus operandi happened to me at the church of TB Joshua. And yes, we do advocate against gender-based violence and femicide against People who have been abused emotionally, financially, psychologically at the hands of pastors and the churches. We are not against churches. We are not against pastors, but we are against the abuse that people are subjected to. So those who are saying, no, this girl has a problem. This girl, every prominent person she comes across, she has a story about, no, I don't blame you. I don't blame you because it's either education or understanding is a problem. And you can write what you want, guys, because it shows how powerful Sikhle CBC is. That you don't focus, you leave your problems and you're focusing on Sikhle CBC, guys. Hmm? Imagine. Number three, what I want to clarify on record. Me, Sikhle CBC. I do not have a negative relationship with Ubayete or King Mrs. Zulu Kazulitin. Me, Sikhle Sibisi, I am not part of the smear campaign that is being written or narrated or driven by factions of his family that are against him. Why do I say that? The audio that, um, the audio that was leaked a few days ago that was doing the rounds on TikTok. When a story came out saying Sikhle CBC is an intruder at the Zulu Royal House, we begged the royal family, we begged Bayete to say, please issue a statement to clear my, um, my name because uh, people are saying things about me that are not true so we sat with a legal advisor who ha who happened to be a friend to one of the legal advisors to the king 
and we said we need to clear my name because my reputation is getting ruined people are saying all funny things about us it's bc nini nini it's bc is dead and when you look at the poster the number on the poster belongs to one of the sisters or a member of the royal family that's how deep the smear campaign was now that audio was you know when you see a doctor doctor patient confidentiality yes so that audio in the privacy of the legal advisor who was advised by one of by it as legal advisors to say please talk to him record it and send it back to me so that when i speak to the elders i can tell them what to do that's what happened the legal advisor on my side recorded it sent it to the legal advisor who's part of Bayete's team this was last year when october when i was trending that i meant intruder so the fraction or the section of people that are against the kingship of Ubayete, Mrs. Ulugazweli team. They got hold of this audio because one of the legal advisors who happens to advise the king shared this evidence with not only the king but some of the royal members. And Dugu Dugu, three days ago, it's on TikTok. They are saying the king wants to kill Sihle CBC. As if it's a conversation that happened this year. It did not. It's a conversation that was even cut short that happened last year, October. Because from then, Bayete and I still talk. That is why in November, December, I hosted. I hosted his brother his fiance, some of the family members in my home, in my home, I even hosted his brothers to some of the events I was doing as Kwanele Foundation. So, Uyashela Ngeakoma, Gumnandi, right? October, Ngi Intruder, Aibo, we beg, we speak to the legal advisor. The information is taken to the legal advisor in Durban. It is shared with the royal family and somebody leaks it. Then they drop it this year as if things happened this year. Guys, no guys. No guys. Mm -mm. My thing is, women sometimes are so... Like women are saying, I will see him. Pull him to a band. I have a fit to mean. Because over here, yes, he's got a wife. Yes, uneza neza zake. It's not like I'm the only in Tombi. Maybe, you know, because I was previewed to so many things, you know, when I was there at the royal house. And yes, the royal people know me. I'm not an intruder. So it is saddening that the newspaper comes out today and again, people are just insulting me left, right, and center, left, right, and center. Guys, if it's going to put food on your table, continue insulting CLSBC. But a case had to be opened because all of a sudden I'm getting random calls from people I don't know who are threatening my life. Because they are saying I am part of the faction that wants to bring down the king. They are saying I am part of the faction that wants to destroy the kingship. So I wasn't going to keep quiet and not go open a case. Because we have seen how assassinations are happening in this country. Moreover, I'm a single mom with two kids. And then the next thing I'm gunned down tomorrow. God forbid what will happen to my two children. So I had to open a case. On top of that. The very video that is circulating on TikTok, if you guys took time to go to that very TikTok account and find out who is the owner of that TikTok account, that TikTok account is owned by one of the elders, an uncle, 
of Miss Suzulu, who is Prince Ngongo Ngongo, I think. And if you go into that TikTok account, there's absolutely nothing positive that they that they are saying about Ubayete. There's absolutely nothing positive that they're saying about Ubayete. So, what I'm saying is, there's absolutely nothing positive that they're saying about Ubayete. And so, if people are thinking, I am out for fame, or I am out to destroy the king, you are wrong. That is why I wrote Ngati. Whatever in-house fightings that are happening within the royal kingdom, can I not be involved or can I not be made a scapegoat for those infightings? Because one, the owner of the TikTok account, I've never met him. I don't know him. When I was at the royal house, I never saw him. I've never met him. It's unfortunate that he got the audio. It's unfortunate that now that they are on this huge um um campaign to smear usile that now all of a sudden um they are leaking things as if the things of yesterday no i don't want to say i want to state on record i am not against the zulu royal household and they know that I, I still communicate nobody at the guys. We are friends. We, we, we still communicate. We are friends, guys. And some of the things that are happening shock me as much as they shock him. Moreover, I must emphasize, I've spoken to Queen Maisela, guys. Not once. Not twice, but a couple of times. Because when I was at the royal house in Ulundi, the king himself did not hide to his wife, Queen Maisela, that I was there. Everybody knew I was there. I mean, I was even taken to Wakangela. I was taken to Richards Bay. I was taken to I She knew I was there. To a point where the king wanted us, me, and Queen Maisela to work together because I run a foundation, Ikwanele Foundation, and Queen Maisela has a foundation called Kamaskolo Foundation. U King Ubayete. Utu Cholile no mao Cholanga no Bayete. I'm fetu Cholile. Yeah! Intimately so. Bengvuge ma shiti ni kele. Cholile. Cholile, are you happy? Yes, Cholile. And we're friends, we're buddies, we're best friends. But here's the thing. I've spoken to Maisela because the king himself wanted me and her to, you know, I must advise her a bit in terms of her foundation, etc., etc., etc. To a point where we're supposed to meet. Yay, buffet. So, Leo Gucci, I'm breaking... Another woman's home. Hi right, guys. Yeah. And yes, no zibobokaka. But no zipo says Kanjani because today you said you are disappointed in Bayete for not standing up for you. Now you are friends. You still talk corner ogunga shanganila. No zipo listening is a skill. I did state when the story came out to say I the reason why that audio was there. Because my family and I were begging him to say, clear my name, clear CKCBC's name. No, Zippo, listening is a skill. And yes, I did say I am disappointed that as Ubayete, the king of the Zulu nation, he could not stand up and make a statement and speak the truth that I am not an intruder. Because he makes speeches saying he advocates against gender-based violence violence and femicide remember gbve 
when you are meant when you are silenced or when you are forced to be silenced and not speak about your truth that is hurting you that is pain you know that is pain so yes i am still disappointed till today that ubayete himself did not publicly or even issue a statement from the royal house saying i no i'm i'm very disappointed uguti i'm still disappointed velo uguti he didn't publicly make a statement to say um usihlesibisi was not an intruder that i cannot run away from but nazas is the some jolo guys siyaqoqa Happy New Year, Happy New Year. How are you? I am fine. I love you. I love you. Get grand. How are you? We are grand. We talk. So, if you guys go and read, go and read. Um, what a lot did the wife know you were dating? Maybe she found out. That's why they said you were intruding. Guys, please go back and listen. I told you that I had spoken to my seller. You know, we even spoke on the phone. They knew. Guys, go back and listen to the beginning of this audio. Guys, ni intruder kaja. Guys, mawe intruder fune go boshe because it means ungenenda when without um teto. And number two, is gozo that I was staying in Nobayete is not the gozo where Umaisela stays in, mind you. Okay? Because the king has e gozo, ezi ningi. Different is e gozo. Yabo? So, Lo Uti, you want him to make a statement? Gom Jolo, I man gangane. Eh, when I know Lufe, listening is a skill. Gite, we wanted him to make a statement to say I was not an intruder. Peto kitu. That is all. Because that thing, Yoguti, when he intruder, it ruined my name. Uli de ati so bochola no bayeta wenesi la be straightforward. Yes. A straightforward leader, yes, Ben Jola Nai. Whoa, gosh, guys. Woo. But, anyways, so I'm just saying, Guti. So, my story came out of City Press. By it, the story came out on Sunday Times, where he is disclosing the names of people that have leaked audios and have, and subsequently, he's also in hiding because. Um, they are also trying to get him off the throne or they want to assassinate him. So, as it is, instead of people speaking things they don't know, instead of um, Yo guys, yes, I want to know. When I want to bang, 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 I'm not going to do any block, can you? Yes, unga zisho mamzo. Umzamo uti. Ani buga yonki video ni ego gubuza into a yodo ay. Yes, nyabonga, nyabonga. How? Lozo, but why are you doing this video? I'm doing this video because abanye ben and guazuk funda. So you're assuming is intense ngeko. So hear it from my mouth. How? Um, Uzama Uti. Guys. Anyways. Guys. Yo, guys. Anyways, guys. I was just saying, Uti. So there is a case out. Because I'm being intimidated. I don't know what wrong I did. And at the end of the day, guys, the job of a journalist is to write. Ne? Journalists can write what they want to write. They can say what they want to say. As much as bloggers write what they want to write and say what they want to say. But for me, one, that TikTok account that is circulating nonsense about Ubayete and has involved me and his wife, etc., etc., I have no business with it. Can I not be involved in it? Go to TikTok and look at that account. It belongs to a member of one of the royal families. They are a faction that is against the king. And I should not be used to be part of their pilot plan. I refuse. Number two. I have no hate for the royal family. 
I have no, <laughs> I can't read some of these, these comments, guys. Yo, guys, some of these comments are going to make me laugh. So, I have, I have no beef. I love the Zulu family and the Zulu nation because I'm Zulu 100%. And I pray for our king's safety. Nani, pray for my safety, guys, because y'all, I'm a single mom with two kids. And it's so painful that my kids were caught up in this mix because they were also fetched by Ama Blue Lights. And they were brought to the royal family and they stayed there with me. Um, Tembi Maliwa, I call it life. But yes, your answer is yes, Tembi Maliwa. So anyways, guys, I am Sikha Sibisi. And my voice is valid. And I will never. <laughs> Guys, I can't read these statements. They're too much. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but we still have to go to the because I'm going to go to the funda. I'm going to go to the funda. Yay! The funda, Jay. Yeah, you took a little. A baggy egg when I see this missing over by Ning, Alba Kuluma, you got the Bayam Halela. Hey! Usbo Atibayete will make sure nothing happens to you. Thank you. At okay, don't read Kubera Nendaba. Ulunga Atunga Mia Gubayete Wako no no. Ha! Kaisini! Hey! I'm a guys! Eh, eh, but so when is the right time to be introduced to the first wife? Is the second wife? Please answer. Angas Chabuli Mamelan. Guys, I did. Mamelan, Mamelan, guys. Mamelan, guys, please listen. I did not. Eh, no ba kiss. Gabaye de iya baba. Oh, man, tombo. How? When? Masalunga. Oh, min do. Then, then, and you want to friends? Oh, Emma. Mmm. Hey, bo. Na, you want to know something special? You want to know something Washela, a calm, sickness, busy, and so what? Balani boma balani. Kuluman man funu kuluma. Texta man funu texta. If it's going to give you sleep, balani guys. If it's a kunugla lepsu, balani. I angsangan mina. Yay! Okay, guys, but on a serious note. I've got nothing but love for Bayete. I've got nothing but love and respect for him. I've got nothing but love and respect for the Zulu royal family. I've got nothing but love for, yeah, the Zulu family, guys. But I wasn't saying, hi, Mina, um, Gangena, Zubo number. Two no more number three no more number four. I buffet to know. Ha ha. Now yo guys, I'm going to go home. to I mean, I bo. Um, what to Helen? Esh, SA is the circus. Just because you challenge them and call them out in public, they want to shake you up and silence you. Malema was right there, all in a kalut. Eh, Upeti, Atisita, you are killing me. You are a storyteller. Oh, guys. Mamelan guys, Kruman, Nana Baba Palama, our Palu Dottingham, Palani guys, Palani. Oh, I think I need a reality show, don't you think? Oh, I think I need a reality show, guys. Imagine keeping up with Sister CBC. Ah, wait, that's Hey! Leo reality show, guys, in Anbonisa. I think I need a reality show. Broadcasters, I hope you are listening. What a chabli, look at us, it's look as a man. I bought chabli, like, yes, I want to make up and give five in fate. Guys, broadcasters, are you listening? Keeping up with such a busy reality show so that Abantu. Yo! What was boy, I'm alive, Ususo, Ayeka. Sia kala sia zota man. Aibo. Gege ba fetu. Aibo. 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 Utu Obri. Controversy loves you eh. Obri let me tell you what. People says controversy loves me because let me tell you why. Utini. 
Hey guys, I'm going to keep up and abang 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 live. I'm going to delete and you guys. Ya block and delete. Mamela guys, people say my life, but why is it that there's controversy always follow you? Why is it that you're a victim? Guys, I'm not a victim. I was once a victim because I've experienced gender-based violence and femicide. And I've never hidden my story. I am that girl, yes, who was um, abused holistically. I'm that girl. So, um, I've never hidden my story. And my story, that is why Kwanele Foundation was born. So if people can't tell the difference between work and personal life, I get, you know what? And people mustn't say, Sile, eh, you are taking your personal life and putting it out there, your dirty linen. I book, guys. I'm a journalist. But go so many utterly am a guards bo manjit at the way to ah bear too. Not to yas go to say corn. Ah bear too. Give me shan gara. Give shanda paranga fet. But guys on a serious note, on a very, very, very serious note. I'm thankful for my life because the trauma and the stress I went through in 2022, guys. Whew, guys. 2022, one, if you guys remember, if you follow me on the page, the trauma I went through, one, I was given a protection order by my mother and my sister to never set foot at my dad's home, my, my late dad's home. Me and my children couldn't set foot because my sister was getting married to my uncle. So they were fearful that... Because of Kwanele Mfundisi, I might capture the wedding and say, Ay, bo, meaning my mother's brother. So we got a protection order. I spoke about it. Ne? I didn't hide. Guys, if you've never followed this page and it's your first time, go down and follow Kwanele Foundation over here. Number two, Ngazamuk Jola. Yo, bafetu. It ended in tears. Yo. It ended in tears. Ngachola no muntu. Obega koshiwe gubo. Wathala guami. Wadla mina pants na pezunu. Ngamtengeli impatla from underpants to socks to yonkinto. And then it ended in tears. Ay! Lapo sengite nya move her on corner. Ngatoli phone call gute. Gel ba yakfuna weni pukosin. How for ini? Ay gel waza. Utinlo, ukolila ati telilin, telilin en my foot. Age ko onge na wama telilin en waike. Ba ye, ba ye ge abatanda ukuluma ila indota wenu valum lomo. Wa! Mamelan, it ended in tears. Where's that guy today? I don't know. I don't even want to know because that guy. Yo, guys, kaba ngumu tumtengeli andapende itran kama socks yung kinto asale nawe agutle pants na pezu. Um reprende. Where nobody knew who the hell he was until you decided to brand him. And then it ended in tears. Yo, guys, angas and tukwega jebangi tukwa bangi tukwa bangi tukwa. But anyways, long story cut short. Sahila ngabaraiti. Life went on. I had to apologize to my kids because... It was the first time in six years since their father died. Six years last year. Now it's seven years, but six years last year. So the first time in six years where I introduced my kids to a man and where a man came to stay. Guami. So I had to apologize to myself, apologize to my kids. And then we had to go for counseling. And then I vowed to my kids. I'm not bringing a man to your house again. Gandhi, yo, why at the dog? Uh, and then from there, what you want to get into? Hey, guys, but in the intro, the real house, I owe a keep his story. The seven was told, what corner I'm confronted, I'm bonus proof. What police are what was or retract as I retracted. I then had to go on Facebook and speak my truth and say, 
Guys, I'm not an intruder. Hey, I'm a blogger as well. Pala, I'm a YouTube. Sit let's be see. Intruder. Sit let's be see. Scammer. Yay, guys. Ne? You look at me and you think sit let's be see strong. Hi, guys. Mommy line. Then from there, they created a fake poster that was photo edited saying, Sit let's be see. And her children are at a hotel and they ran away without uh, paying. Blah, 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 blah. When our legal team checked, 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 everything was, was photo edited. I was like, God. Then the worst, what issue we post that with CSBC is dead. Uh, she's dead with CSBC because and her funeral, um, yini, funeral memorial service will be at the Standard Bank Arena. And then when we researched and found the number on the poster, it was a number of one of the royal family members. Guys! Ah! Oh! And then, this is all in 2022, ne? And then from there, uh, I, I, I came face to face with one of my rapists. Yes. Utim Tibiela. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm naming him because he went to the press. Because that's when I learned that these men in suits, they want to play victim. He went to the press. What mean? I'm trying to extort money from him. And I responded on this page. Nothing extort Utim Tibiela. You raped not only me, but a lot of us when we were at synagogue at TB Joshua's church because you were one of TB Joshua's right-hand people. Eh? And then all of a sudden, he went under the radar. Because that's the thing. You will not come for me and think I will shut up. as I will come to you with files and receipts. And I was like, Guys, I'm 37. I'm turning 38 this month. And this Tim Tibiela character, because I I bumped into him face to face with him, and he got scared, and he thought I'm gonna talk about him, and yet I had never mentioned the names of my rapists except um, those pastors that I spoke about. But he was part of the clan, so he ran to the media and said, "This is is trying to extort what what what." Not a come to Zela, let me pendul. And I still spoke on this platform publicly. Then he went underground with tool. So one thing about me, Sister Sibisi. When there's a story trending about me, you must expect I'm going to go live and I'm going to answer on it because, yay, I'm tired of journalists phoning me saying, asking me the same question, the same question. Find your answers on my live page on Kwanele Foundation so that you do not misquote me. Don't misquote me. And then 2023, November, December, I hosted some of the Zulu people in my home, people from the royal family. Kwam, guys, Kwami. Kwami. And I'm thinking now the media must write to go to Sitless Beast with Kelly Brainstein. I'm like, what the fuck, guys? Am I not safe now? Now I'm not safe. I want to know where I stay. What the F? -n? Anyways, I hosted them. Kwami. Uh, had a nice time. And then December, I was home. I was fine. And I remember my kids. You know, I've got the best kids in the world because when the intruder story came out, my son was like, ah, mommy. We don't enter here because we were there. We know it's a lie. My kids are very strong. December went past, then January, um, schools opened, and my body gave up on me. Like, literally, my body gave up on me. One day, I woke up in the morning. Uh, 2022, not 2023. And it's, I'm explaining what I went through in 2022. My say, hey, guys, listen to understand, not just to comment. So that was 2022, December ended, then it was January 2023. 2023, kids went back to school. And then one morning I woke up on the 15th of January, I tried to brush my teeth in the morning. And then I drank water. When I tried to goggle, the water just spewed out. I thought, I no. I washed my face, I bathed. I made cereal, I tried to eat. When I tried to eat, automatically, the food was just coming out. The next thing, I started having a teary eye. The next thing, I started coming out snots. And I thought, what is going on with me? The next thing, I started feeling numb. So immediately, I got into the car. I drove straight to the nearest hospital. When I got to the hospital, um, when I got to the hospital, as I walked in, the casualty doctor just looked at me. And apparently, my eyes were no longer in alignment they were skewed now. They were like, one was up, one was down. Immediately, I was taken in. They took me in for a CAT scan. And immediately, they did test. And they were like, she's got Bell palsy. Bell palsy? What is Bell palsy? 
And they're like, no, it's, it's, it's usually uh, caused by severe stress and the overthinking of the brain, da, 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 da. but you need to take steroids and you need to be hospitalized. I was in hospital for a week, guys. It was the one of the scariest weeks of my life because um, I couldn't talk. I couldn't see properly. My nose was dripping. I was just a mess. My face was crooked. And daily, I was on heavy steroids. My family, yo, guys, yo, the CBC family, my brothers, my sisters, Yo, guys, my aunts, my guys, guys, my family was, was there 100%. My family was just there 100%. I want to thank my, 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 my children's school that were there 100%. And then afterwards, um, I took heavy steroids, guys. I was always out of it. That's why people were always sending in boxes, particularly I doesn't do live videos anymore, but I couldn't because my face was, you know, and then I started doing physio. Like, they were doing physio on my face. I had physio being done on my face. I wasn't allowed to drive. I was just so weak. I had physio being done, taking steroids. Then I had to take, and then I went, and then I was discharged after a week. I had to go home, but even going home, every day I had to go to the hospital for physio. And I was still taking steroids. I was not okay. And then... Everything they said it was the nervous system. The whole nervous system has completely collapsed. It was a viral infection of the facial nerves. And then I took medication. And um, I'm better now. That's why I'm able to go live. But those who know me, when you see me face to face, you'll still see that um, something is not 100%. So like when I'm outside in the wind, one of my eyes just still cries. And when I started trending... Because I knew that I was going to be out of the newspapers. Because already, you know, journalists will phone you during the week. And um, I posted a video of when I was preaching in Limpopo last year. And when I started trending, I phoned the, the doctors and the psychologists. I said, look, this is what's happening. And apparently, blah, 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 blah. And the doctor said, you cannot afford to stress because you might relapse. And when you relapse, you bell palsy. You might never recover from it. Now, if you don't know what Bell Palsy is, please Google it. It's spelled B-E-L-P-A-L-S-Y. So that is why I've decided to turn this lemon into lemonade and say, I will not stress. I've reported to the law. I've reported to the police that there's a hit on my name and they will investigate it. I publicly told everybody you guys are listening and you're hearing me that there's a hit on my name. And should anything happen to me, should I wake up dead? Or well, well, if I'm dead, I can't wake up. But should anything happen? We don't know who it might be because, guys, some people don't read to understand. Some people just see a headline and they think, ah, this girl, she's after the king. This girl's destroying our king without taking time to understand what's happening so maybe anybody can just come and just assassinate me i don't know but i've been through a lot and my body had to give up but in all of that i want to thank the guanile foundation team because even though i wasn't going live this year they were constantly availing themselves making sure that work is done i think the first court appearance i went to this year was for flavio and i think it was last week and i thought let me go you know and i went but other than that guys those who hate me thank you those who see nothing good in me thank you those who are calling me home rubbish trash whatever Thank you. Those who are writing things they know no understanding about because I'm seeing posts of people who are saying, um, um, I'm seeing posts of people, I'm sorry, people are just calling me. I'm seeing posts of people who are saying, blah, blah. I've explained in the beginning, guys, but those who are speaking without understanding, thank you. 
But I think the Guanele Foundation team also that is very fast in blocking, deleting and blocking nonsense posts because we will not allow nonsense people who will write nonsense things on this post. And we will not allow this to cloud the work of Guanele Foundation. We will never be silenced, guys. If you think I'm controversial, guys, try and work in Guanele Foundation for a day. Try and do the work we do and see if the media won't follow you around and see if smear campaigns won't come up about you. But guys, you know, I was just so flippant tired. And those who are saying they want to talk to me, they want to meet me. Sorry, guys, I'm not meeting and talking to people I don't know. Because I don't know if maybe you're sent. And those who have spiritual prophecies for me, guys, you can send an email to Guanile Foundation. You don't need to have my phone number. You don't need to know, guys, please. I need my space. I need, I'm just recovered from Bell Palsy. So to all those who hate me, thank you. Because at least I know where I stand with you. You understand? Sometimes. Because a person that doesn't like you, a person that hates you, a person that speaks ill about you, and they publicly do so, you know exactly where you stand with them. And I want to say thank you because from the hate and the negativity that you're bringing my way, you don't know that you are, fertili you are a fertilizer into the soil. Something else is about to birth and go bigger from this. And to all those who stood by me, my children, my family, my Facebook or social media family, thank you, Giabonga, that through Ivunguzonke, I mean, one thing I've learned, or one thing that 2022, year 2022 taught me, if you're going to live by the praises of people, you will die by their criticisms. Because one minute I was the intruder, the next minute when I was at the presidential summit, everybody loved Sihle. Sihle is the, is the best. Sihle speaks truth to power. Look what's happening now. Sihle is a bitch. Sihle is a whore. Ava is febe. Ava unongkroi. Hey, ave, ayi, lento, lento. Why? Because nga shelwa inkosi nga koma. Hey! Nga koma ba fetu. Ayu koma logo guti ya nyavuma. Nga koma. Kwa ba internet, kwa ba deep, kwa ba And so, again, Utini. Hey guys. Mm -mm. So, again, finally, I have nothing against my Zulu family. I love the Zulu family. To air is human, forgiveness divine. And yes, I'm still disappointed that till today they have failed to stand up and say, no, we made a mistake. She wasn't an intruder. But hey. Hi, guys. It's a hard pillow to swallow. And remember, sometimes you need to learn an apology. You need to ex learn to accept an apology that you may never receive for your own mental state of mind. Hey, guys. Guys. Utilona, okay, guapa mnandi, usi kipela nizi ndabazanga sesa ntombo. Mamela la ntombo. If you're listening from the beginning, it's public knowledge, it's out there. So this is my platform to respond. Maunga tandi zi kipe wene ndabinza. Puma ntombo. Puma nje mamba, tupumu ikipe. You know, why must people want to own my story? Why must people want to own my narrative? Where they think they can talk about me and it's their truth. And then man respond. I mean, Aktiwa Wain Kuluma. Guys, anyways, in closing, finally, comment. I have no beef with the royal family. I love the Zulu royal family. I have no beef, no bayete. I love Ubayete and I respect him dearly. And Finally, I have not affiliated to that TikTok page 
of that Prince Ngongongongo. I don't know him. I've never met him. Yabo? I've never met him. Angimazi. I've got no affiliation to him. So if they're using his indoor to want to pull me in, no. But take time to go to the TikTok account and see what oh, there's nothing good that is ever being said about Tubaye Dede. That is all. Aibo. Tu tandi wengege pela sipe o keza nga ako. Aibo mna nkeza go vase. Keza ngintipe green sunlight. And then man kata ngobo vase lina. Au. Saki yu atika waze wa mwote senge abona lento. E abona uba yeta. Guys, guys, Bayete is a very nice man. He's a very nice man. At the end of the day, he's human. He's the king. Long live the king. But at the end of the day, he's human. So nani buyan nga nene, guys. We can't cry over spilled milk. It's out there. It's in the public. And... Guys, can I? Guys, my man, sit here, be so quiet. Look at my manager because hi, boy, pillow, we pillow sending me roses. Love you too. Guys, my man, can I stop reading these comments because I've never been wow, like. How many con? Hi, for guys, Mamelan. Can I stop reading these comments? Oxala yong yani tanda. Non ke guys, non ke yani tanda. That's all I have to say, guys. Guapela tu. Guapela. Abo. Utu nox manja ayu awandunkulu in waiting. Hi bo nox. Ang abang. Woo, and a bang in fed to in an unbonnet, the Kulokuma Ganja, Okuma Kulganje, Azamin and Azamin in the history of own Kulu Kwazu. Have you ever seen on Kulokuma Ganja? I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd fit, guys. And a bang and gas of foot make cover and eat cover and get where that gag eh. Go by no saling busy lava meeting to a mathas tool. We mathas. Tool. I bo anong yek ang abang guys, mamelan guys. But um cholo is a pandemic and unzima. Smangela tu nesbindi gotwa. Smangele. Nesbindi. Nawe si siba nesbindi. Futu mbuzo kutu chola ganja nesbindi esne futa ekre learning zo chel. Ngobila tap up everything. Be safe. Thank you. Nox yaz nja gutanda. Gitanda nami. Tandi wati gitanda isibindi sako. Yoba fetu. Yoba fetu. Hey, sometimes ni akala ngi kala ngeto ayebu subuwe jaso jaso guys. Hmm, kote manga shuti reality show ne. Hmm, hmm, shuti reality show. Rolling with CSBC. Gua po vunga ni. I go guys, ni ngai linda ngai mesa bo vuniti. Sasa funu bo na ngai sego tlenga na watu sisi sbi sumu lido. Oi basela yo ai ishel ugo tika tika tika. Zikipa ngai. Mama pele pele mi na ngusha se. Ni as basela ni ishel eba fetu. Eni futi ne kaya bati. Osha so spend, osbi se. Bati. O tanda. Oya epule. Kota shela bani. But again, man, for look bad and crumbs in tape, that young army. If it's gonna put food on your tables, guys, nga yegi kubegan. Ang funi nla be nga yam, please nga ntela. Kubegani, ang funi to die of hunger because it's less busy turning up bad nga kulumi nga ye. Please, kwas busy my last povunga ni ebo. Reality show, la le la buipido, la le la. Reality show, la yo. Mamek mga banali reality show, guys, ne. Ama smear campaigners zo vuga, ne. Because haban pa zo saba go ting zo ben kipi zin. Bye bye, guys. I love you. Bye.
Bati inja inkonkota imoto e hamba yu. No temi le. Hau, kusuti nginja. Ha, ha. Wati nginja mpetu. Wati nginja. Ha, kusuti nginja. Ha, kusuti nginja. Ha, kusuti nginja. Ha, kusuti nginja. Ha, Abang kaning katen nan maning bonem kwa kaning katen ba fetu abo abang inga zuguti ye fetu mshamben kulima nani for the last time. Besen zoven zalama video ni tu sekle spisi was a powerful woman. She was not afraid to speak her truth. Mshamben kulima nani for the last time. Give people their flowers while they live. Giantanda nonge emakaya. Kalama journalist angang phone ni, mau phone ama ansa mabawa ila. Kwa nini ni angsha guys? Whatever else comes out after this, angsha ngi guys. Sasa yini Monday, Monday sha sebenza guys. Kwa nile foundations, we fight it GBVF guys. You load shedding is born to see bunze nyonga guys. Sometimes our minds are weko, ama tanga fishy. Yo guys, kala twenty twenty first vote ni right guys. Yo, tell us voting right 2024. That's why maybe Bafunu won't last a lag and so guys. So what he wants and you and a load shedding no case, load shedding day one a man. crime is on a high. People are getting killed left, right, and center, guys. When you pray, Nam Ganning, Tandazeleni, Naminas, Tandazela, Tandazela. Zeling and Zamba fate, your born and a telling a sang shale, but fetting a tail at two, a telling a telling a camelaga chest was another at a sang shale, one year seven to the home, and then man home, but also such as be say, oh my cool leg, got in King of Woody wine, cool my soils because it has been in your mazzy. Climb a corner with such as be singing a pantle and I, oh, oh, my cool leg got and cool, my and what back as you and you must be learning piggy. Bye bye. Good night. Love you. Any and any any bona any fun da yoma jimge. My friends, bam. It's up to you to stand for the truth and defend me because I can't do it on my own. Gantan. Bye bye.